Why are human cells implanted in animals? What happens if you cross a shark and a pig? And who did an unusual skull found in the Arctic belong to? Now you'll find out everything. In this episode, I'll show you new as well as the most interesting hybrid animals. Let's go! I think that the superhero topic is on everyone's mind. Even those who are not particularly fond of these movies or cartoons, somewhere deep down, really want to be like superheroes. After all, there's a reason even scientists come up with crazy hybrids between humans and different animals. For example, a hybrid between a human and a mouse. This project was created not so long ago and in a short period of time has already managed to achieve unprecedented success. No, no one has yet created a mouse human, but in this period of time, scientists do not set themselves such goals. After all, if the creature is born, it will be necessary to take special care of it and the researchers have no desire to spend their effort on it. They want to focus on studying the genomes and structures of new organisms as well as learn all the pros and cons before allowing them to appear in the world. Thus, not a single human-mouse hybrid has ever been grown to adulthood. All embryos, including the most successful ones, are destroyed on day 17 of life. And even today's record-breaking 4% of human cells in the mouse body are just a reason for the personal pride of the researchers. The method itself is much more interesting. Scientists manage to calibrate human stem cells to achieve approximately the same growth rate as mouse cells. This allowed them to do mutual integration. The goal of this project is to obtain complete combined organs as well as systems such as circulatory and respiratory. If this project is successful, people may find a solution to the problem of treating complex diseases related to organs. And if the idea of human-mouse hybrid fails, researchers will always have the option of crossbreeding a human with a pig. But why am I talking about the future? After all, the idea has already been realized. The unusual embryo contained no more than a thousandth of a percent of human cells. Besides, it was allowed to develop for only 28 days. But only 186 creatures out of 2,000 studied lived to this date. The researchers explain the inefficiency of this method by the fact that humans and pigs are still too far apart on the evolutionary ladder, and intrauterine development in different species takes place differently. In humans, it lasts nine months, and in pigs, it lasts less than four months. Nevertheless, the man-pig chimera is still being studied. Real Monster if you think that the human pig chimera or the human mouse chimera is the peak of outrage, you're definitely wrong. There are more mutants in nature than that. Some are even beyond human control. This picture shows a hybrid of a bull and a spider. According to the author of the picture, the creature is real. It lives on one of the farms in strict secrecy. It remains a mystery for what purpose it's grown, but there is clearly nothing good about it. Bulls aren't much use, let alone the ones crossed with spiders, these creepy and often venomous creatures. Narwhal and Beluga Against the background of those creatures we've seen earlier, there's a ray of hope that hybrid animals can still be appropriate and good. In the Arctic, scientists discovered a rather unusual skull that belonged to a hybrid of a narwhal and a beluga whale. Scientists suspected something wrong from the very first seconds of finding this skull. But only recently, through DNA analysis, did they confirm the crazy theory. The discovered skull lacked the horn characteristic for a narwhal, and in general it was quite different from the skulls of the two species. It was much larger than the usual representatives. Also, this individual fed at a much greater depth than its parents, which also interested scientists. In any case, only time will show what this hybrid turned out to be and what consequences it will entail. Dancing Dragon That was the name given to a rather strange creature found by scientists. Why? You'll find out next. Researchers were studying the habitat of various ancient animals, watched the soil, and accidentally found the remains of a mysterious monster. Yes, there were many different creatures, including even dinosaurs, but this was unique in its kind. No one was going to jump to any conclusions about it, but the experts did make one assumption 
In their opinion, this new species is a relative of Velociraptor and is a transitional step from dinosaur to the bird. During its lifetime, the individual was smaller than a modern crow and had four wing-like limbs and a very long tail with two large feathers. This combination, along with the position in which the remains were found, made the scientists name the creature the Dancing Dragon. In all likelihood, it was still a young creature, a one-year-old at most. But in that case, judging by the fact that during this time it had already managed to grow fully formed feathers, the plumage developed in these monsters on a completely different principle. For example, most modern birds do not acquire large tail feathers until puberty. The tail of the dragon is as long as the entire body of the dinosaur, and the feathers on it appeared only a few months after birth. Kunga of course, Mother Nature is not the only one that can create unique hybrid animals. Humans and their most ancient creations also claim to be creators. I'm talking about the Kunga, a hybrid donkey created several thousand years ago. Modern scientists have long known about these ancient animals from numerous clay tablets and lots of archaeological finds. But until recently, they couldn't understand what species they belonged to. The thing is that all the bones of the found ungulates were not similar in appearance to any living animal. As it turned out, congas are the first hybrid animals in the history of mankind. For their crossbreeding, people used ordinary domestic donkeys as well as wild Syrian onagers. Of course, no one can say for what purpose these hybrid animals were created, but most scientists are sure that they were a great substitute for ordinary donkeys the ones that were rather weak and timid. The hybrid animals were much more confident and had good physical strength. That's why one such beautiful creature sometimes cost as much as six ordinary donkeys. Besides, Kungas did not graze like other cattle. They were fed with specially prepared food. There were also sacrifices. The ungulates were buried together with noble owners. According to an ancient legend, this ritual helped a person who had gone to another world find a personal assistant even in the afterlife, someone that would protect them and help them in their hour of need. Okay, I get that hybrid animals can be different, but to cross a shark and a pig? Are you serious? This picture you're looking at is not photoshopped, no matter how much some of you want it to be. It's an actual shot of a shark pig caught by a fisherman. When the picture was shown to the public, rumors immediately began to swirl that it was some kind of mutant or the product of terrible military experiments on marine creatures. But as it was later confirmed, it was neither. People caught a common and at the same time very rare hybrid in no way related to military experiments. It's an angular rough shark, which in some languages is called a pig shark because of its unusual resemblance to a pig. Usually this shark lives at depths of up to 2,300 feet. What's curious, the creature also made some incomprehensible grunts, <laughs> which suggested the idea of crossing with a real pig. But the researchers' data instantly refuted all this. The creature was studied and released back into the water, but personally, something still bothers me. It seems as if there cannot be such sharks in nature, and a person was involved in this anyway. What do you think? Hummingbird with gold Scientists thought for a long time that this bird was a completely new species, and then it turned out that was not the case. It was just a rare hybrid. The cute creature was found during a nature study in Peru. It was then, without much study, that the wrong assumption was made. Soon, the data was transferred to the laboratory, where the DNA of the bird was compared with other indicators. This revealed all the information, confirming that in front of the scientists was a very rare hummingbird with a golden throat. It's not just that the color makes it rare. According to its DNA, it's a feathered one that separated from the other birds and received its unique genetic background thousands of years ago. Such a complex chain of development has preserved in the new hybrid all the positive features of its descendants, while adding a cherry on top in the form of a throat of a different color. While its congeners have a pink throat, this feathered one has a golden one. Last year, an interesting video appeared on the internet. A scuba diver recorded a video of an encounter with an unusual transparent creature in the waters of Malta. The diver swam up to the fish, which at first is even difficult to be seen. Due to transparency, it seems almost invisible. 
The diver touched the incredible fish, examined it in detail, and then let it go. The video he posted was titled Ghost Fish. Although this creature does resemble a ghost in some ways, it actually has a different name. It's a cell. These creatures feed on phytoplankton, which they filter through the water. They look somewhat like jellyfish, but salps are much more complex organisms, related to fish and vertebrates, and they have a heart and gills and can reproduce sexually. Salps have a unique life cycle. They spend part of their lives alone and then clone themselves, forming chains and other forms of related organisms. Interestingly, some salps also synchronize their movements using electrical signals during communication. Glass Octopus It makes no sense for animals that live at very deep depths to turn invisible. There's simply no light coming in. Animals that live close to the surface of the ocean are able to reflect sunlight in such a way that a predator thinks it's the glare of the sun on the surface of the sea. But what about those that live somewhere in the middle? The glass octopus has the answer. This amazing sea creature is almost completely transparent, which allows it to hide in the open ocean where there's no sand, reefs, or rocks. Glass octopus lives at depths of 300 to 1,000 meters. This 45-centimeter long creature is virtually invisible to predators. Only eyes, optic nerves, and the digestive system of this creature can reveal camouflage. But the glass octopus has a solution to this problem as well. Its eyes are elongated. Although its eyes limit peripheral vision, they minimize the shadow they cast. This octopus is also able to rotate its body so that its shadow is as small as possible. So it's almost impossible to catch this invisible octopus. Glass Squid This mollusk relative of the glass octopus, the glass squid, also boasts a transparent appearance. These sea creatures are almost completely transparent, only their large eyes are visible. Unfortunately for the squid, this is not a good thing. Even at great depths, a predator will be able to see the shadow the squid's eyes cast. Apparently, the glass squid consulted with the glass octopus and learned the art of camouflaging from it. Like the transparent octopus, the glass squid is capable of hiding its eyes. The squid can do it using photophores, special organs under the eyes, which create a stream of light, much like the glare of sunlight in the water. An interesting fact, the family of glass squids has about 60 species, and all of them are almost completely transparent. However, the glass octopus is the only one of its kind, so the invisible squid brotherhood is numerically superior. But it doesn't matter because octopuses and squids don't hunt each other. Deep Sea Worm It's almost impossible to see some marine bristle worms as they are almost completely transparent. However, at least 11 species of these animals can emit bright colored light mostly blue, but there's one species of bristle worms with the complicated name Tomaptris nisini, which glows yellow. It's rather unique ability in the animal world. To distract a predator, some individuals of the genus get rid of a part of their body called a parapodia, which are small outgrowths on the worm's body that also emit light. This confuses the predator, which starts chasing parapodia rather than the animal itself. As you can see, there are many amazing invisible animals to be found in the sea abyss. But why don't we go up to the surface? After all, there are some transparent creatures on land that are worth checking out as well. Stay tuned and very soon you'll see the world's most unusual butterfly, a frog organs of which can be seen, and a creature you'll find hard to believe exists. Let's move on. Unlike the marine environment, being transparent on land is much more difficult because light travels faster in the air than through the water column. There's another difficulty as well. Organisms that live on land need pigments, particularly melanin, to protect them from ultraviolet radiation. However, there are exceptions to this rule. One such incredible exception is the glass wing butterfly, Greta Otto, which lives in Central America. Although only its wings are transparent, predators still find it very difficult to track the insect in flight. To understand how transparency is achieved, scientists looked at the wings of the butterfly under an electron microscope. They found nanoscale tubercles on their surface, which are randomly arranged and have different lengths. These tiny outgrowths help to minimize the reflection of light from Greta Otto's wings and thus make them invisible. Glass Frog The transparent neighbor of the glass-winged butterfly is the glass frog. These amphibians also inhabit Central America, but are also found in South America. 
They got their name due to the almost transparent skin on the abdomen and chest, through which internal organs and bones of the animals can be seen perfectly. As you've already understood on the examples of previous invisible animals, transparency can be called an ideal form of camouflage, but in the case of the glass frog, this isn't quite the case. This trick works mainly underwater, where the peculiarities of light refraction in the liquid help the animal to hide without being found by the visible parts of its internal organs. Nevertheless, even on land, glass frogs are quite good at hiding from predators due to certain features. To understand these features, the researchers photographed 55 glass frogs on green leaves and on a white background. The researchers found that the frogs always looked green but became lighter or darker depending on the background they were on. At the same time, the apparent brightness of the more transparent paws changed more than that of the body. In aggregate, this created the effect of blurring the frog's contours, which made them look almost invisible even on land. Transparent Snail Relatively recently, in 2013, a transparent snail was discovered in western Croatia. It's become a new species for science. Scientists named the species Zaspium thalassum. This snail is interesting for several reasons. First, it has a transparent shell, which can become cloudy or milky white in certain conditions. Second, these snails live in one of the deepest caves in the world at a depth of about a kilometer. Third, it's the most stereotypical snail in the world. Most snails would envy the Zaspium thalassum species, as these snails crawl only a couple of centimeters a day on their own. And fourth, these snails are blind. What? They belong to the subterranean inhabitants, which in the course of evolution have lost their visual orientation and coloring. All in all, the new snail species is truly unique. Golden Tortoise Beetle On the other end of Earth, in southeastern Asia, you can find another amazing creature, the Golden Tortoise Beetle. Such double name is not accidental. It's called a beetle because it actually is a beetle, and a tortoise because of its transparent shell-like carapace. This creature is not completely transparent, but it's no less interesting than the previous animals from this episode. Such an unusual carapace deceives potential predators and also protects the beetles from attacks. The transparent outer shell of the carapace reflects light through the layer of liquid between the adjacent layers of the carapace. These beetles can change color depending on the presence of the liquid layer. In case of danger, golden tortoise beetles change their color very quickly increasing or decreasing the amount of liquid under the upper layers of the carapace. And in conclusion, let's go back to the ocean again. It's worth it because that's where another transparent creature lives. I'm talking about this jellyfish. Apart from the red center, it's almost completely transparent. That probably helps it hide from predators, but maybe this jellyfish doesn't need such a feature. After all, as scientists have found out, this creature is immortal. That's right. Churatopsis dorni jellyfish is indeed immortal. Of course, if it will be attacked by a predator, then everything will be over for it. But this transparent creature should not worry about death of old age. However, not everything is so simple. These jellyfish have an unlimited life cycle, manifested in unusual processes. The initial stage of development of the organism from fertilized cells is a polyp. The polyp gives birth to the jellyfish and the latter reproduces and dies. When unfavorable conditions occur, Turidopsis dorni attaches itself to some surface and its cells transform and return to the so-called baby stage. Then the polyp gives birth to the jellyfish again and the cycle repeats. Theoretically, this cycle can last eternally, which gives us all the right to call this transparent creature immortal. And now let's take a look at the larger unique creatures. Sharks. Zebra Shark Judging by the pattern on the body, the zebra shark would be called the leopard shark. But they shouldn't be confused, there are two different species. The zebra shark and the leopard cat shark. Moreover, the zebra shark is considered a rarer shark. It lives in the Indian Ocean, in the Western Pacific, and in the Red Sea. This species of shark prefers to live in tropical waters at shallow depth near reefs where these creatures catch crabs, small fish, sea urchins, and snails. The zebra shark is interesting not only because of the unusual pattern on its body, but also because of its special way of reproduction. In the absence of appropriate mates, zebra sharks are able to reproduce through parthenogenesis, also known as virgin conception or virgin reproduction. 
History knows of cases when a zebra shark was able to lay eggs from which three baby sharks then hatched. This despite the fact that the shark had no contact with the males for three years before giving birth. Scientists still can't figure out all the mechanisms of such conception. Whale Shark Surprised to see a whale shark in this episode? I'm sure it came as a surprise to many of you, because whale sharks are quite famous. They're famous for being the largest sharks in the entire world, as well as the largest species of modern fish. These giants often grow up to 12 meters in length, although they can grow to the full 20 meters in length. They also weigh a lot. Their weight is often up to 30 to 35 tons. Not surprisingly, these sharks are called whale sharks because, in size, they're not much inferior to whales. And they're similar to them in terms of nutrition. Whale sharks are one of the few sharks that are not a danger to humans. They're not predators and feed on plankton. But beyond all that, whale sharks are also interesting for their population. There's evidence that there are only about a thousand whale sharks left in the entire Earth. If this information is correct, then the whale shark is one of the rarest fish in the world in general and is on the brink of extinction. Frilled Shark As for the frilled shark, science says that this species is of the least concern. At the same time, the frilled shark can be included in the list of the rarest sharks on the planet. The thing is that the frilled shark lives at great depth, so scientists haven't yet been able to fully study the species and learn all its secrets. What is there to talk about if the first observations of the frilled sharks in natural conditions took place only in 2004? But in general, the frilled sharks are very interesting creatures. Researchers call them living fossils because of their primitive features. This can be seen in the appearance of the shark. The frilled shark does not even quite look like a shark. More precisely, it looks like prehistoric sharks and a mixture of modern eels, sea snakes, and sharks at the same time. This species is interesting not only because of this, but also because of its unusual hunting. This two-meter long shark hunts like a snake, bending its body and making a lunge forward. Its long and mobile jaws allow it to swallow a large prey whole, and numerous rows of small and sharp teeth prevent its prey from escaping. Goblin Shark The situation is similar with the goblin shark. Despite the fact that the species is classified as least concern, Scientists claim that the goblin shark is one of the rarest in the entire world. The biological process of the goblin shark are very poorly studied. It's not even known how numerous this species is. But scientists do know something. The goblin shark received such a sonorous name due to its appearance. It has a frightening snout with a beak-like growth, protruding long jaws, sharp teeth, translucent skin, and a pinkish color. As you can see, nature did its best. Fortunately, the encounter with this shark is almost completely excluded because the species lives at great depth of 200 meters and more. For this reason, scientists have never been able to properly study goblin sharks. Speartooth Shark The next shark was luckier with the name. However, this species' situation is not as good in population as it is in the name. The Speartooth Shark is a very rare species of the Requiem Sharks family. At present, scientists have access only to young of this species, found in the intertidal zones at the mouths of the major rivers of northern Australia and New Guinea. The species is found only in fast-moving, turbid waters with different salinity levels. The spear-toothed shark is burly. It has a broad snout and small eyes. It grows up to three meters in length. These sharks feed on bottom fish and crustaceans. One of the main features of this shark is the ability to perfectly hunt almost in complete darkness. Unfortunately, nowadays there are fewer and fewer of these unusual sharks in the world. And all because of the mass catching and destruction of habitat. Scientists estimate that there are no more than 2,500 of these sharks left in the world. Although the real situation is probably even sadder. That's all, guys. What rare animal would you like to see with your own eyes? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later!